everybody how's it going today we're playing minecraft again and uh the 1.14 update finally came out so we're gonna be playing with a lot of that stuff today and doing some other fun updates so let's get into it all right everybody so i know i usually spend too much time giving you guys updates so today is gonna be super quick i promise um i've been doing basically everything the same um i've just been sitting here fishing and farming the only new addition is these chests and these chests and yeah they're just more bone and sulfur storage so nothing too big on that end and uh i did do a little bit more work on the slime farm so you could probably see a lot of it coming in here there we go so um yep yeah, this is the slime farm if you guys remember from a couple uh episodes ago and i managed to clear out uh some more area so uh probably the stone was up until here so i backed all of that up uh, i did especially a lot of work here we probably won't need to go any more further back i just gotta light it up there um and then i did a little bit more I, I basically did a little work on every single side especially over here um the problem with this area over here is here we can use tnt there we can use tnt and there we can use tnt but here i can't use tnt because um, I've got my rail going through here, and actually, I, I did blow that up already. This is actually a rebuild version, and the squid farm is right there. And I actually blew up the squid farm too, <laughs> once by accident. But, we're actually going to have to take on that squid farm anyway, because squid mechanics changed, and that farm no longer works. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's go through a lot of the small changes from 1.14. Um, first thing, a lot of texture changes, and... A lot of these textures you can see right here so the diamond looks completely different the gold looks like more solid which is super super nice um, the glass um, looks like more see-through it's more transparent it doesn't have all those like gray uh, textures on it uh, the ice looks different once again the diamond looks different um, some of the armor looks different uh, the status effects look different even the sword looks different in the menu uh, let's see if we can find any oh this is actually another good place um so the armor looks different lapis look basically a lot of things are super super different a quick update um the sheep actually died uh if you guys know this is like a little one with pokemon ring i have my mill tank you got gary you got ash and you got um a reap um the sheep actually died and i had to go get a new one and also if you guys remember it was it was a pretty good bit ago um, all of these animals, which we, like, we named dinner bone and put upside down. A lot of these died also. I think lightning struck the fence right here and a couple of them were able to get out. But um, I did bring them back. I named them all and stuff. But our polar bears are gone. So we are going to have to get more polar bears. Um, I don't know in what episode. We might do it today. Um, because today is going to be a very like, sporadic episode because I don't have like one big plan. But with the new update, there's a lot of small things that came by, and there's a lot of small things that I want to do anyway. So I guess the first small thing that we should do, last episode, the last thing that we did was work on an armor room or area in the basement. So if you guys remember, we got it all to the, to the point where like the redstone worked and the uh, armor could come up and down, but we didn't decorate it. I said we decorated this episode. So I guess I should just stop talking and show you guys. So bam everything is different so the entire floor and wall has been completely replaced all this was stone brick i just made it all into bone blocks and i made it to where um these lamps light up the place instead of torches because i think they looked ugly um and yeah so a lot of like the farms and stuff left alone so i just left the potion how it was this area is mostly the same um uh, what's really nice with the texture changes, the glass actually makes these flowers easier to look at. And there's also new flowers in this update. So we're going to have to update this. But it's actually pretty nice because three flowers were added. Meaning we could just maybe add three more or something. But um, yeah. I left basically everything alone and just replaced these. Now, um, one of the things that I have in a sign up there is we're actually going to have to take this down. Uh, the squid farm does not work because squids don't. Uh, spawn in water anymore unless they're in a certain biome with whether and now they only spawn in oceans and rivers they don't just spawn in what are we in right now plains they don't just spawn in plains anymore uh so this is gonna have to go down we're gonna have to rebuild it somewhere else what makes me sad though is 
down there in my chests i had probably like 10 double chests filled with ink but like i said when i was working with tnt i accidentally blew a part of this up and i had to rebuild it well i blew up most of my inventory so i am completely dry of sacks and i don't really have a way to get anymore unless i rebuild the farm which we'll do later but um let me just show you guys this because this is what we worked on last episode i should this is the most important thing is why we're here um so the setup itself i didn't change i just decorated it so we still have the two levers all the armor is up with that lever all of the armor goes down and if i flick this all of these gets closed oh that was weird some of the textures didn't come through so um it's just solid gold blocks which is, in my opinion, it looks really nice contrasted to the white. And of course, I want to get them back. I retract the golden blocks and they come right back up. I should probably show you guys what's going under here. So, um, I basically made a little second basement down here because I had to do all the lights. Um, but yeah, I just basically just dug out more holes. And these signs over here are just things that we have to do in general. So, these are some of the things that you might be expecting in the next couple episodes. A roller coaster revamp. A new tree farm, um, a flying game, because now we have like a pretty good amount of Elytra. And that's actually another thing, is it did do more enchanting. Uh, now all of my Elytra has mending and unbreaking, which is nice. I just got to go like fix them up and stuff, but yeah. So let's start with the first thing. Um, big hole to get down to the slime farm in the basement. So this is one thing that um, have, has been bugging me and I didn't want to do it unless it was on camera But anytime we want to go down to that big hole where the slime farm is we have to go like out here And we have to go down these stairs to actually get to there But I thought why don't I? Actually just build a hole down there because if you guys didn't know it's literally right below here like the slime farm is below us so yeah, let's quickly figure out a place. All right guys. I think I have an idea. So another sign here was take down squid farm because it is broken now that i'm thinking of how to get down there it actually be almost perfect that we make the hole somewhere over here in this corner um yeah so let's do that let me start taking this down i'll probably make it a time lapse okay everybody so the entire thing is hollowed out so you can kind of see just how big uh that is so now what's nice is when i'm down here and let's actually let's do a little fly around here so now forever we're flying down here, and obviously there's gonna be like other projects down here. We can just kind of fly up into here, and we can come to our basement. So this is super nice. Now obviously, um, I'm gonna be changing this around a lot. So I'm gonna replace these walls with something. I'm probably gonna put like a glowstone trim at the end here, and then probably up here too. Um, and there's a lot of fun things we could do with this, like. Um, we could do like little games to try to fly through things. There's stuff we can decorate the walls with. We can play with like water, lava, all that stuff. So, um, this should be an interesting, uh, part of our world. We could probably do some pretty cool things with that, but, um, I'm probably not going to do anything with that right now. Okay. So now that the squid farm is gone, there are a couple of other things that we need to do. Uh, some more chests for books. Now with the update, uh came some new items now what you know what? i'm just gonna stick these in here for now because i don't know where to put them so that item is the crossbow so this is basically like a new form of the bow and enchantments can actually go on here now let me grab so anyway while farming at the fishing farm i get enchantment books and of course when the new update came out uh, i made sure to fish so i could get some of the new enchantments uh so we're gonna actually enchant this bow uh but before we do that, we do need some more room for the three new enchantments. And I want to get another chest for loyalty. Okay, guys. So we have three new enchantments. Uh, oopsies. Didn't press shift. So one is multi-shot. Now, this is literally off the top of my head. Uh, one is piercing, I'm pretty sure. Okay, come on. Piercing. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to write. Here. I don't care. I don't know how the thing is spelled. And there's one more. What is it? Quick, quick charge, quick charge. Yeah, that's what it was. Quick charge. Okay, so these are the three new ones. Um, I'm actually have to. I'm gonna go get some levels real quick so I can actually enchant the crossbow. Okay, guys. So I took a lot of this redstone and got myself some levels. So let's go down here and check out some of the uh, new things. Now, um, I did make these chests 
and every single one of these is filled uh, so I'm not going to organize them here because that's gonna take too long but um, I'm gonna take some out like, specifically and enchant this so let's take a look at what is a crossbow so it's ooh. okay so let's do that again so like I hold my right click and then it does this and then it's kind of like the doom uh, if you guys ever played doom and then do I release no then I release again okay so I actually have to hold it back okay so that's different with the bow you kind of just like hold release but in this one you actually hold back you do that and then you actually have to shoot again so that's kind of it. and how many how much durability does it do each time that's 162 160 okay so it's about one okay cool um so let's go ahead and try to get as many things on here let me grab all the books all right everybody who we got lucky i got scared here for a minute i found a lot of quick charges and a lot of piercings i went through one two three four five six seven full chests not a single multi-shot and we finally got a multi-shot on the last one so whew. so we do have all three enchantments but that was pretty close so let's see let's put uh the multi-shot first I just put this one five okay that's not bad at all um where's the multi shot where did i just put it multi shot can i not all right everybody so like i thought um they can either have piercing or multi shot so we're gonna make two crossbows here so we're actually gonna have to craft a crossbow and i guess i'll show you guys how to craft one so the one that I got was actually dropped by um, um, an illager, villager, I don't know what they're called at this point. But so you need a tripwire hook, whoopsies, you put three sticks and two string and you make yourself a crossbow. So now we got a second one here, just got a few texts. Um, so we can go over here and this one we're going to put on multi-shot. So this one we will put multi-shot on and we're going to need more books actually. Let's go ahead and put mending and unbreaking three. So like I said, we can't put piercing on that, but we can put quick charge one. Let's check out these two bows. So what piercing does, I think it allows your arrow to go through more enemies. Like it'll pass through them and obviously hurt them all. And I think the higher the level, the more it can go. And then obviously multi-shot probably just sends multi-shot. But let's... Ooh, what was that? There's a trading villager in our house. Literally. Okay, so this is another thing with the new update. You can trade with this guy. Okay, so we can give him emeralds. Oh, emeralds for glowstone. You know what? We're going to do this right now. Gimme, gimme. Yes, uh... Oh, I can only... Oh, I want more. Oh, okay. Well, I can't... Okay, whatever. Anyway, glowstone's pretty good. I like glowstone. I need more of it. Um, so, this is another new feature. This is kind of like a villager, but he travels around, not in villages. Anyway, let's go back to this. So, piercing. Let's go ahead and pull it back. Q. So, that goes a lot further than a bow. And the wiki told me it was actually a lot stronger, too. So, that's fairly simple weapon now let's try the multi shot this one's one that i'm interested in so you cock it back and then it shoots three arrows now does it actually use three out of my inventory so i have 61 right now no so it only uses one arrow but it does shoot three okay so let's take a look at some other things along with the wandering trader are wandering llamas and i actually trapped a couple here because i saw them so these travel with the trader i'm pretty sure and can't won't let me get on it speaking of saddles another new addition to the game which i almost forgot about oh, just like how you would make a ladder that's exactly how you make the leather horse armor come on and just like that leather horse armor so oh this guy's so it's creeping me out um or do any of these horses you know what let's go ahead and take off that let's see what that looks like okay pretty cool Ooh, ouch gotta make sure i don't oh i, I gotta make sure i don't ride him it's gonna get gonna get me killed 
All right, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that armor on them for now. Okay, so they actually went in the field. They were up there earlier, uh, but they're not sure why this is happening. I don't know if, what is this? We're in a plane? Uh, okay, now I just completely lost where, yeah, we're in a planes. I don't know if they made it where these start spawning in planes, but um, I don't think this is normal. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna go try to find some of the new mobs, the, you know, the illagers. We're gonna try to get bad omen to see if we can maybe get a village raid started um but i just gotta show you guys one more thing before we fly off and look for maybe a new village too because i want to see like uh, i want to generate a new village to see what they look like um one interesting thing with armor that i was actually changed uh so let's get so these have fire protection right so before you would either have protection fire projectile or blasting they actually made it where it's not mutually exclusive anymore so you could actually have fire and projectile so now you don't hack actually have to pick from just one now what does this mean a lot of those armors only have one type so all of those armors i'm actually gonna have to slowly start enchanting back into uh good armor and also something you guys probably didn't notice but all in the corner here i actually dyed these boxes white and there's extra uh armor in here so that's probably where i'm gonna keep my extras but anyway guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my Elytra, I'm going to grab uh, my fireworks, I'm going to go look for a new village, not just a new village, but a newly generated one so we could have some of the new structures um, and maybe we can find some of the new mobs. Hey guys, so we're in another because I want to get far away. There's a couple of new textures here, um, just if you guys are curious. Another rack looks a bit different. In my opinion, a lot nicer. It looks a little bit less like sporadic um this has a nice new texture yeah i like it okay guys so here is one of the new flowers so these spawn in planes and they are called the corn flower um so it looks like a scuffed version of uh the blue orchid but it's nice having a blue flower and here's another what is this called now does it change poppy okay so that's still called poppy um but before, the only way you could get blue dye is from Lapis or uh, the Blue Orchid, which is fairly rare because swamps are fairly rare in general. It's really nice to have a blue flower that like you can get fairly accessible. Um, so that's pretty cool. Speaking of the plains and the new flower, here is our first brand new village. Okay, so let's take a little stroll through the village. So you can already see the buildings themselves look different. Um, the villagers are inside the beds um they're made out of different materials so clays stuff like that and every single village is fairly unique so they've got new decorations um uh, there's also a lot of new things that were added which we're going to talk about later because i don't want to talk about it now but the cartography table is one of them um empty map empty map so we've got empty maps um so let's see an iron golem is here uh, another new addition to villages are stray cats so that's interesting so now you can get cats in other ways other than going to the jungle and finding one there's a little market with a bell a bell is another new item now can we silk touch it we can now, I'm actually scared can I pick it up without silk touch I can pick it out without silk touch so uh, we're gonna play with this bell and I'm definitely gonna be collecting no those there is an iron golem which protects obviously the village itself Let's see if we can find anything else interesting Oh, oh there's a little guy in, in the bed, so that's kind of cool Definitely, I don't really need these so here is another new item. What is this called? The composter so i'm pretty sure you put oh, what is it do you put rotten flesh in there i don't know we're gonna see later i'm not gonna worry too much about that right now right now it is about the villages all right guys so here is our second new village so let's go ahead and check it out looks fairly the same but this is the same biome now the houses here aren't made out of brick um so yeah that's a little bit different so what's this a smithing table so that's kind of interesting like I said we'll take a look at all that stuff a little bit different I know this is a grindstone so that's fairly new let's see what we got in here I'm, I'm guessing this is a new blacksmith 
Um, Apple isn't on any sword. I don't really need that. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Got a few horses. Got some more compost bins. So I'm definitely be gonna be grabbing these. I know I I think they're just made out of wood. I can just make them myself, but I'm gonna grab them anyway, just for giggles. Up there. Oh, so here's more of the clay houses that we've seen beforehand. And there's some more stray cats. Definitely gonna be grabbing this bell because bells are kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure I don't I don't think you can craft them. I think the only way you can get them is from villages. So that's kind of cool. Ooh, this isn't like a two-story house. This one's a lot bigger. This one actually and it has um okay. So it's like oddly deceiving. It's not really two-story. It's just a ladder and then like two blocks. Um, but yeah. Okay, so another village. This one's in one of these biomes. That's kind of cool. So let's go take a look around like usual. There's this grindstone here, and this is an this is like a tent. That's kind of interesting. Let's take a look inside these houses. I'm guessing. What are you? Wake up. What are you? A trade. Oh, so he's a weaponsmith. Sweet berries. That is a new item, my dudes. Uh, you know what? I'll grab these spruce because I actually need wood. Uh, and we'll play with the berries once we get back to our house. It's in here. Alright, what are you? What are you? Let me, let me trade with you. Oh. Is he really... He wouldn't let me trade with him. It was his fault. So this is another new item here. The campfire. Ouch. I'm pretty sure we can put things on it. I'm going to break this, though, because... Okay, why would I... Can I... Oh, okay, so apparently I need a charcoal. Oh, I just broke it. Okay, well, I know you can craft them, so we'll probably craft one later. Yeah, this, this is a very, very cool village, except it's kind of hard to navigate because there's so many stupid trees. Um, let's see what else we can find around here. Uh, more berries, fern. I guess we'll take that fern. They actually... This guy won't... Oh! He's not a trader. That's just his normal suit. Okay, that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, don't need any of that. That I will take with me. Oh, nope. I don't want to trade with you. What else do we got? Okay, guys. So I came to this other end of the village. And these are the sweetberry bushes that I was talking about earlier. So these are new. And I'm pretty sure we can actually plant these into the ground. Did that just hurt me? Does this hurt if I walk into it? Okay, so they're like thorn bushes, so they actually do hurt if you walk into them. Like I said, you can plant them to grow more, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to obviously keep some on me because I'm going to plant some when we get to our, our base eggs. Oh, that's a new texture, which is kind of cool. And I'm pretty sure this is another new item here. The Fletcher's Table, so that's kind of cool. And once again, we got another camping thing here. Um, a little bit of lag, a little bit of lag. Um, can't trade with that guy. Anything interesting here? What do you have? More berries? I'll definitely be taking your spruce and berries. Okay. Um, whoa, wait a minute. Almost forgot the bell. Can't forget the bell. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that and let's keep looking. But just thought about it. Guys, remember how we played with the heart of the sea and the water conduits last episode? And... I was going to make a decoration out of them, but I couldn't really figure out like a practical use for them. Guys, we don't have like many of the coral blocks. We could definitely use a, like one of those heart of the seas. Okay guys, it looks like we found another village. Alright everybody, we got another new structure, which is this thing, and I think this is a, yeah, this is like, this is a new illager mob thing that I was talking about. These are what they look like, and they shoot crossbows, it's kind of cool, and I think they have a chance of dropping them, because that's how I got my original one. Oh god, there is a lot of them though, that's a little bit scary, and they're kind of lagging a little bit, so I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm here. 
A lot of them are shooting each other, which is nice. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know why I'm lagging so much. Something about this update... Ooh, I think there's a crossbow. Something about this update has made rendering in the game a little bit slower. That's for sure. I wonder how many of these spawn, or if they just spawn unlimitedly. Hmm. Also, we should probably check what's inside of here. Let's go ahead and go inside. I don't think there is much. I think this is just kind of like a place a lot of them spawn. Oh, god, there's one up here. Uh, but this is kind of cool. I like the structure itself. Um, I'll take that crossbow, that's for sure. And I'll definitely grab as many crossbows from here as I can. The thing is, um, the crossbow isn't like the trident where like I need to go farm tridents or something. I can make crossbows just like those, so I don't really need many of these, but there he is that is the one that i was looking for because i want to do a raid village but to or like to get the bad omen to get a raid you need to kill this guy with the stupid flag all right so now if you guys can see we killed the one with the flag we got his flag and now we've got bad omen so the next time we go to a village uh there should be a raid just kind of neat Let's kill the rest of these guys. All right, guys. So again, I, I I find this super super cool. Things are still loading in, and there is a village just spotted, and it's a new type of village, and we're gonna be able to do the right. So that's literally perfect. But guys, just look at this structure. This is actually like I'm still waiting to kind of spawn things in, but this looks ri oh that is completely floating. This is just so cool right here. Like this, this is a solid wallpaper here. It is super nice. I'm definitely going to go to that village, but yeah, I like that. I'm probably going to actually fly around a little bit. I want to see what's up with this. This is this is really weird now. Like You can't tell me this is normal. This is literally just floating up here. There's like nothing holding on to it. And I'm definitely going to be flying a little bit through here. I want to see kind of what's up with this. This is, this is, just, this is so cool. Anyway, enough oogling the landscape let's go down here this is a new type of village because it is in the desert and see you can already guys see that there is uh that raid bar at the top so a raid is incoming so let's see uh what can i trade you okay nothing um oh the bell is just ringing off uh uh well, okay, I, this is my first ever raid. Actually, I haven't really searched into this. I don't even know what's going to happen. Okay, I see my first little party. Oh, well, okay, I guess let's kill these guys. And I got his little stupid flag again. I just got like three crossbows, I'm pretty sure. Okay, got a few crossbows. Oh, so it looks like it's kind of like a wave thing. So now it's like the bell is telling me that there's another wave coming in. Okay, well, we might as well check out the village while the bell is going. And I'm not going to destroy the bell until the end. And, oh, what up? Isn't the iron golem supposed to be helping me fight? Oh, there's another village over there. I wonder if I can go to that one. Okay, so there is the next round of villagers. Let's go ahead and fight them. Oh god. There's a, oh, this one's got an axe. Oh, these both of these do oh, they hurt a lot more. Raiders remaining. Stupidly trying to attack. Oh, he hurts. Ouch. Um what I need to do? I need to find blast furnace. Yes. Uh wait, yeah, yeah, put that in there. Okay. Um Are you gonna cook? Uh why won't you cook? Cook, go, go. <laughs> uh what's those blast furnaces? How come they don't work? Crap. Cause I need food. Oh no, no 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 no! Oh, what is that? Oh god. 
and my game is lagging. Um. Um. Ooh, that thing hurts. Oh, that thing hurts, and my game is lagging pretty badly. Yo, Iron Golem, dog, help me out! This Iron Golem is literally useless. It is not doing anything to help me out right now. Oh, crap. I need to go kill that Ravager. Oh, it's dead. What did it drop? What did it drop? I want to see what it dropped. Because I, I should have... Oh, so... Okay, so now the Iron Golem is trying to help me. Okay, so all it dropped was a saddle. Interesting. Okay, let's kill the rest of these villagers. There you go. Now there's just a bunch of other normal mods. Okay, so there's one more remaining. Ah, there it is. He's got this flag on him. Okay. Oh, we won! Okay. Whew. We actually almost died though. <laughs> so I was I was a little bit maybe a little a little close there. But we did win. There is another village, and also this is a new item here. The blast furnace. Now apparently I didn't know how to use it because I was trying to cook with it and it wouldn't let me cook. So we're gonna take it home and analyze it there. And I actually still need a cook. Alright everybody, we're back home. Let's grab some of these sweet berries. And we're probably going to make a farm for them later. But just for now, let's go into the field. And let's kind of just plant a lot of them so we can kind of grow a little stockpile. And I'm still a little bit lagging here. I'm sure I'll get over it pretty soon though. So let's just go in this field and let's go just plant a bunch of them. So guys, we got ourselves a few bells. And these are actually pretty cool. Um, you can hang them basically anywhere you know, let's just hang one right here and here and we just kind of hit them for fun now actually this is probably a terrible place because they will interfere with me hitting the door button and a lot of this new stuff we're actually going to check out in the next episode because i don't i don't want to do the entire update today but yeah so we at least saw most of the new items today though okay Anyway, whatever. There was one more flower that I apparently didn't get. Um, but one of the new flowers is called a wither rose. So those don't spawn. And they actually don't spawn in the end or nether either. They don't spawn at all. It's actually an obtainable item. And you might be wondering, well, how do you get the wither rose? Because it's a pretty rare item. Well, what you have to do is spawn in a wither not just spawn in a wither though but get the wither to actually kill something so real quickly i'm gonna suit up for battle and i've got eight minutes so that's plenty of time uh place place one two three and there's the wither now i'm gonna kill it but first i want it to kill some other creatures so let's try to get it to maybe come and attack some creatures here Okay, attack the animals. Yes, yes, attack the animals. Okay, it looks like one of them died. And is there a wither rose? Um, if there is one, I can't see it. So, maybe it got blown up. Let's check this one. Any wither roses? Yes, yeah, there is a wither rose. I told you guys, so... Now, maybe it doesn't drop a rose every time. That would make a little bit of sense. There's another. Um, I'm going to try to collect a couple here. Another. Ooh. It's actually a planted with a rose. Oh, God. It scared me. Just by it. So, sometimes, apparently, they just get planted. And sometimes, they just drop a normal item. Let's make sure we don't lose the wither here. Oh god, looks like it's all for me now. Ooh, little, little bit of... And there goes the wither. But I'll just break that on myself. Okay, cool. So, we got 
alongside the Wither Roses, we did get another star. So, hey, uh, win-win for me. New item for you. I'll take it. Okay. Hey, guys. So, we did get the Wither Rose. Now, I'm not exactly super sure on what it actually does. Um, I'm definitely going to have to look into it. But today was just kind of an introductory episode to... Uh, the update and the later episodes will expand upon it. We'll make Roseberry Farms. We'll play more with uh, the like the raids and stuff. Maybe we can do something with the others. I don't know. I'm not going to figure it out now, but I think we've done enough for today. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.